So let's go over a low back or lumbar spine release protocol. We're going to start out with the hip flexors. You okay there, Mickey? Good. Just need to get on your hip flexors here. You okay with me actually accessing the area yeah. in that? Okay, good, good. Just bring your top leg in here. Bend your leg. All right. Okay. I'll get you to be on this side to begin with the camera, please. Okay. Bring your leg back. Okay. Now take your arm up here. Okay. So, you're all tight today. Feels like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come back again. So this is just one of the standard protocols. Bring it up again. Doing okay there? Good. Okay, I'm just going to help you out a little bit here. Good. So these hip flexors are really important because they're antagonists of the low back musculature, the paraspinals, erector spinae. If we get those to release properly, a lot of the muscles posterior will release. I'm going to get you to lie on your back, please. And just come over to the edge here a bit. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to just bring your leg down like so. You doing okay there? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to get my arm up on here a bit. Okay. Down. You okay? Yeah. That's not too bad there. Oh, maybe it is. <laughs> yeah. The drop a little bit. Come back up. Good. And again, take it right down. Doing okay there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go down a little bit more. Is that releasing a little bit there? There we go. Yeah. You can actually feel it just kind of let go. Yeah. Now, Mickey's doing a great job here of using her breath to help to release the structure. So. Just have the patient slowly breathe out and let it drop down. That's way That's easier, right? way better. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's move on to uh, two versions of child's pose. So we're going to use a common move in yoga, child's pose, to actually release some of the structures here and combine it with manual therapy. Mickey, I get you going to child's pose just for one sec here. So this is the general child's pose. And when we first start doing this, I'm going to get you to bring your arm across here. I'm actually going to get the lower part here. You okay? Yeah. And I'm actually just going to start working my way around here a bit. How's that feeling? Good. Okay. So this is the first way that we're going to address this. Of course, we're going to always address both sides. Doing okay there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mickey, I'm going to have you come on back up now. And then I'm going to have her actually sink down in the child's pose. So show her what I mean by sinking. Dropping down. Come back up. Okay, so I'm going to get on the paraspinals here. Just sink back in there. Drop down. And take it across. Excuse me. Doing okay? Oh, yeah. Come back up. And then sink down in there. What's the difference that you feel here? It feels like I have more of a chance to actually let the treatment back into it. It's, it's more range of motion. At the right, end. right. Back up again, and down. Good. That actually feels pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, As it releases it right down. Holy cow. And using, come back up again one more time, and just sink right into it. It's quite a difference, actually, if we can just get it to release correctly. Good. Perfect. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get you to lie on your side, please. Okay, so a few structures here we're going to go on to. I'm going to get on to the quadratus lumborum and the really thick fascia, the uh, lumbar pelvic fascia here at the same time. But before we even get in there, I'm just going to stretch this area out a bit. Okay, I'm going to get you to bring your leg back a little bit here too. Just off the table over there. Yeah, so we get a nice stretch. How's that feel? That's nice. Good. Back up again. And again, take it down. Good. Back up. Good. And down. Good. Good. Okay. Now we're going to get on to the quadratus lumborum. There's a lot of different ways we can do this, but one of the ways that I found that is really effective is if we actually bring the leg back here. And after we've done the stretch, you okay there? Yeah. 
I'm going to get my forearm down here on the QL and bring this down. Okay, how does that feel? That's really good. Okay, I'm going to get you to bring it around the camera to the end here, the table. Yeah, right over. And back. Take it up again. Down. That feeling okay? Yeah. And you have to hold it, as you see, to get that nice release. You can't be rushing through this motion. Good. One more time. Down. Good. Okay, I'll get you to lie on your back, please. So there's another component we need to address, and that is joint function. We need to deal with soft tissue restrictions, but we, we can't forget about the joints. It's really critical if we're going to get a full resolution of a problem that we actually get mobility within the joints itself. So commonly when we get restrictions in the facet joints of the lumbar spine, we'll also get a few compensations up in the mid-thoracic area. You okay with me adjusting you there, Mickey? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to check the mid-thoracic area first. Get you to come around here, Steve, a bit closer, please, on this side over here. Okay, I'm just going to feel around here a bit. How's that feeling there? It's yeah. Now lift your head up towards me. There yeah, we go. Quick. One more time. Good. Perfect. Okay, I'll get you to lie on your side towards me, please. Just get in there and see. Okay, not too bad, really. Yeah, a little bit there. <laughs> Bring it down. This over, excuse me. Down, drop down, let it drop. There we go, perfect. Turn the other side. We don't want to leave a restriction on one side and release the other. That could actually create problems. Okay. Down, over. Yeah, okay. Back down. Coming in a little bit here just so you can see what I'm doing here. There we go, perfect. Okay, come on, sit up here. Just stand up and move your back around a bit there, Mickey. How's that feeling oh, now? A little bit easier? Yeah. Good, good, good. So these are some of the standard procedures we do in clinic every day. But as you see, we're dealing not with just one vector. We're going from the lateral, medial. We're actually considering soft tissue and joint. Hope you'll subscribe to our channel. Please click the bell so you get all our new videos. And uh, look forward to seeing you in the future. Got a piece of the pie, told you once, told you twice, that we only got one life.